I used to wear glasses, glasses, but I wore glasses so long in my life that I decided I just didn't want to wear them anymore. So how do you see? I just, I have one bad eye, I just look through the other one. What's up GQ, this is Jack Harlow and these are my 10 essentials. Gray 990s, I think it's one of the greatest silhouettes in shoe history. My dad wore New Balances like a lot of dads growing up. But in high school, um, I started wearing New Balance. Not a lot of kids in Louisville were wearing New Balance at the time. You know, it's kind of bigger on the East Coast, like the DMV. I just wanted to wear something different and I liked the way they felt. So I just kind of ran with it. And now it's a little more official and I'm working with them. And I'll probably get a new pair of these from New Balance once a month. I'm not really even a sneakerhead, to be honest. I don't love shoes that much. I have a few pairs that I'm not gonna wear to a concert or if I knew I was gonna be walking in grass. But these, I wear them anywhere. These are being mass produced. It's just a great shoe. It's classic, it can go with a lot of things, and this is the type of thing I put on with a sweatsuit in the middle of the night and go on a mission. Yeah, I wear these constantly. I mean, this is a shoe I would tap into the rest of my life. About a year ago, I probably wouldn't have been able to bring as many things in here because, you know, I don't have a lot of items I feel like I can't live without. I'm not materialistic, but I got this recently and I'm in love with it. It's a Sky Dweller stainless steel Rolex. I like the color of it. I don't really like yellow gold, so for me, this can go with so much. And the blue face, like, I mean, especially right now, this hits right now just because of my fit, but I didn't fantasize about watches growing up, but now that I have one, I really could see myself building a collection, but this is the only watch I have right now. So these are condoms. I really like the grip on them and they're just effective. Your life can go downhill without them, so I really recommend these. Where can you buy them? A lot of places, pharmacies, grocery stores. You know, it gets tougher the later at night it gets, but there's a lot of options. Most places, most places carry them. There's a chance I can't live without them. It's an essential at all times, all locations. So next, I have these. I got these about six days ago. I really like how they fit my face. There's no brand name on them, so I have no idea what brand they are. My friend Urban gave them to me. I can hide behind them in a way at the right times. You know, it gives me a nice, like an anonymous feel. Like when I just want to take a walk and just be amongst society. Sometimes I get recognized in them, but a lot of times I can slide with these and just, and I feel good behind them. And I, I've seen myself in them and I like how it looks. My air purifier. Part of me thinks that it's been placebo for me, that this is making my air better, but it feels like my air has been better since I got this. Yeah, I haven't changed this filter yet. So I could be breathing in dusty ass air, no telling. There have been no alerts on it. So I feel like it lasts a while and I like the size of it. It just looks like it has an effect on the room. Sometimes I turn it on blast and it's just This is a ring. Got this about three weeks ago. It's a championship ring and I got eight of them for my entire collective private garden. That's what it says on the front. And uh, this was a special moment. This was the first time I really iced out my collective and the guys I came up with. And it's just a lot of diamonds on the face and some white gold and some enamel. There's a fountain on the front. The fountain's our logo. Alex Moss designed it out of New York. It's similar to the watch. I never thought I would be a ring guy, but I just love wearing it. I love how I feel in it. I was in the gym maybe eight months ago and there was a woman in the gym selling sea moss. And one of the main things she told me about it is that it increases your libido and just your drive. And she gave me some right there. And the rest of the time I was in the gym, horny as hell. I was turned up. I couldn't even really work out. I had to go home. And it has a lot of other benefits, immune system support, stuff like that. I think it's in one of those like rainbow blossom type expensive, chips with a bland bag type, you know what I, I don't know, one of those stores. I don't think these are like, they might be at Kroger, but I don't know. I think it's at one of those nice stores. I think it's good for your body and I take a lot of it. White tea, I got a drawer of these and I wear them at least every other day. I like the way these fit. These are the slim fit Calvin Klein's and they really grip me and make me look fit. I don't spill things. I haven't spilled anything since I was like 14. I love wearing white. I wear white all the time. I think it's my favorite color to wear. I wear all white. My pants are white right now. White shirt, you know, I love white. So these are scissors. I use these to cut a lot of things. Tags, um, 
There's certain chip bags. Like, let's talk about the veggie sticks. Cause I knew this was gonna come up. Let's just talk about it. The bag is like, it's just like, it's not built for a man to open. And it's so stupid because when you do cut it open, then how do they stay fresh? You have to eat the whole bag right there because then it's just a torn bag and then you can't. So I, I'll open a bag with this regretfully, but I do use these to open certain like sturdy chip bags. No, I wouldn't trust myself to cut my hair. I've never even shaved myself. No, I'm lying, I've shaved myself. I have this hoodie. Can you read it? It says ear ecstasy on it. I don't have any article I've had longer than this. I keep it tucked in my closet. I don't take it a lot of places because I would be devastated if I lost it. And it's, it's one of the few items I have that I feel that way about. So Ear Ecstasy is a record store that was around in the city I'm from, Louisville, Kentucky. When I was in middle school, it was right at the end of the CD era. We used to go up to the store and we would buy Jones Soda and we would buy CDs. And it was just a special place. And it's really a landmark in Louisville history for sure. Somehow it still fits me. I've grown a lot since middle school. It was big on me then and now it's small on me now, but it's always worked, so I treasure this for real. GQ, thank you so much for having me. I had a great time. I'm Jack Carlo, and those were my essentials.